to stay up three nights in a row guarding a government witness, does nothing but talk about his mother, and you got to give me a hard time. The guy's life is on the line. In an hour, the guy will be through testifying, and you can sleep for as long as you want. I'm sure, if I can stay awake that long. Let's check it out in here. I want to get Springsteen's new album. You really think they'll try and kill him? If it wasn't for us, he'd be dead already. There's something worth staying up for. Don't even think about it. Are you saying she's out of my league? I'm saying I saw her first. Oh, no, you always say that. That's because I always do. No, not this time. I thought you were too tired. Tired, not dead. I can fix that. Well, if she means that much to you, go ahead. Good choice. Now stand back and observe. I learned something. Find what you're looking for? Oh, I'm just bad thing. Yeah, so was I. That was until I uh, saw you. Pardon me? Red hair, blue eyes. I think you're the most beautiful looking woman I've ever seen. <laughs> and I think you're wasting your time. Educational, Nick. Real eye opener. Swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God. I do. Please be seated. State your name for the record. Uh, my name is Harvey Minnick. Mr. Minnick. Will you tell the court your relationship to the accused, Mr. Earl Kane? Well, I've been Mr. Kane's chief controller for the past eight years. What are your specific duties? I oversee the bookkeeping on Mr. Kane's trucking company, his uh, liquor distributors, his casino holdings. When did you first discover irregularities in Mr. Kane's bookkeeping? Mr. Minnick? I'm sorry, I can't. Do you realize, Mr. Minnick, that by refusing to testify, you forfeit the immunity granted to you by the grand jury? I don't care. I can't. I can't testify. Will counsel approach the bench? Mr. Bergman, is he your primary witness? Yes, Your Honor. Will you be able to proceed without his testimony? No, Your Honor. I suggest you confer with your witness. This court will recess until 9 o'clock Monday morning.
sorry about that, guys. <laughs> that makes three of us, Connor. Mm. What happened? You saw it. In one look at Kane and Harvey lost it. Well, the three nights with Harvey, I'm going to lose it. Now, if I had been running the case... <laughs> Connie, you'll make U.S. attorney soon enough. Soon enough for who? <laughs> but seriously, you guys have been doing a great job of protecting Harvey. You going to keep him in the same place you had him last night? No, we're going to keep him moving around. That's good, because Kane will do everything he can to keep Harvey from testifying. That's why we're here, Connie. Right. <laughs> now, look, if there's anything I can do to help you guys, let me know. All right, thanks, Connie. Thanks. Mm -hmm. See you. See you. Mm -hmm. As I said all along, the government has no case against my client. This fiasco in here today just simply illustrates the ridiculous nature of the charges against him. I have no further comments at this time. Excuse me. Ouch! Come on, you guys. Take it easy, will you? Relax, will you? We're almost there. Just lay there and be quiet. Should have taken the heat off. We've got a leak, Captain. Once it gets fixed, we're going to be in for a long weekend. I'm on it. Okay. Look on the bright side, Ma. At least they missed. Don't cry. I I'll be fine. I got two detectives protecting me, McCarran and Rado. They saved my life. So why don't you just dry your eyes and give me a big smile? That's better. I promise I'll be on the next flight to Miami. Shouldn't have lied to your mother, Harvey. Give me that. You'll never make it to the airport. What are you talking about? You sold us out. And without us, you're dead. You can't do that. I gave you Kane. No, you haven't given us anything. You see, without your testimony, the government has no case. What do you want from me? I told you how we skimmed money from the casino and laundered it through his trucking company, didn't I? Right, and how you kept quiet all these years because you were afraid Kane would kill you if you testified. We heard it. Nothing's changed. Oh, yes, it has. You raised your right hand. Now, whether you testify or not, Kane's going to come after you. Look, fellas. I want Kane put away as much as anyone. But I'm an accountant. I'm not a hero. My getting killed is not going to accomplish anything. There's only one way to go, Harf. We protect you until Monday. You tell the judge what you know, and then Kane goes away for good. Then we give you a new name, new home, a new life, Harf. Simple, Harvey. You either play ball with us or you take your chances in the street. You're a numbers man, Harvey. What are the odds of Kane letting you live? Million to one?
Hi, Jade. Low light. Hello, Nick. Hello, Princess. It's been a long time. I didn't go anywhere. Follow me. Everything's ready for you. Two of your men are already up there. They brought Harvey's suitcase. Terrific. I owe you one. I'll put it on your tab. You're going to be staying here a while, Harv. It's safe, and the food, oh, it's terrific. So what is this place? Jade's family used to run a gambling operation out of here. Still vice busted him. And Nick took a special interest in my rehabilitation. Um, he's a detective, Suttle and Gilmore. He'll be guarding you days. We'll be on nights. Again? Make yourself comfortable. We'll be back tonight. If you need anything, uh, let me know. What do you mean the rat changed his mind? Captain Biddle called our office and said that Harvey will be on the stand Monday morning. He testifies. They'll convict you for sure. They'll pay you for legal advice, Mr. Assistant U.S. Attorney. They'll pay you for information. I told you to watch those two detectives. That's not my fault. He missed. Where do they take him? Somewhere in Hollywood. I'm working on an exact location. You better find out soon. We're running out of time. Sun's down, Rito. Time to get up. Time for our team to take the field, Rado. Play ball. are killing me, Nick. It's your circadian rhythms, Rado. My what? Circadian rhythms. It's like your uh, internal clock. Working nights is throwing yours all out of whack. That's crazy. I'm fine. You all set? Got it. Follow this, Nick. Yeah, I know. They've been tailing us ever since we left your place. You thinking what I'm thinking? Yep. Let's take them.
very fancy. I'm impressed. Who are you? Well, it's Minnick, Harvey's mother. Who else? Now, be darlings, take me to my son. The only time I hear from you is uh, when people are trying to kill you. That's not true, ma. Oh, heaven forbid you should feel guilty, Harvey. I'm only your poor widowed mother living alone in Miami, and you? Uh-huh. You're a big shot accountant in a Hollywood apartment, chasing starlets, eating nouvelle cuisine every night. Mm. Well, it was just a pilot light, Blanche. It's all set now. Oh, thank you, sweetheart. <laughs> nice to have a man around the house. Eat this while I toast you another bagel. He always was such a good eater. Hmm. You hungry? Yeah, I could eat. What about you, Nick? Uh, no, thank you, Blanche. I make it a point never to eat around radar. I'm afraid I might get caught in the suction. <laughs> hey, you know, you're all lucky that I hopped that first flight out here. With me around, you and Harvey will be well taken care of. Uh, I'm afraid it doesn't work that way, Blanche. What do you mean? Well, uh, we took a chance letting you stay here last night. Well, Mother has a right to be with her son. True, but not when it endangers both of your lives. You see, this place is safe for now, but it's only a matter of time before uh, King's people close in. Things could get hairy. We have to be ready to move out of here on a moment's notice. And you're saying I'm in the way? It's just till Monday, Ma. I'll be all right, really. You could stay with Uncle Harry. And once I testify, well, the police are going to make it so I never have to worry about Kane again. That's right. And, uh... What's going to happen to my son after this nightmare is over? We'll give him a new identity and a safe place to live. Yeah, Some place like uh, Phoenix, Seattle, Denver. What's wrong with Miami? I mean, I kept his room just the way he left it. These are detectives, Rado and McCarran. Oh, nice to meet you. Nice to nice meet to you. Meet you. Uh, they're uh, guarding Harvey until the trial is over. Blanche, since we're going to be together for the weekend, how about a little sightseeing? Oh, I'd love it. Maybe we could get a map of the movie star's house. Oh, who needs a map? We know where all the big stars live. George Burns, Buddy Haggett, Murph. Uh, folks, uh, it's been nice meeting you, but we've got to get back to work. Yeah, we'll send Harvey your best. Bye bye. We will. <laughs> Radar. What? It's her. Who? Oh, it's the redhead from the record store. What are you, a glutton for punishment? If at first you don't succeed, be right back. Hi, Lucille. I'm going to lighten your load and take one of your roses. Here you go, darling. Thank you. I believe this is yours. Oh, no, that's not mine. It is now. Oh. Do I know you? Heard any good music lately? Oh. <laughs> the record store. Oh. Right. Look, I, I owe you an apology. No, 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 no. I'm the one who owes you the apology. I come on a little bit too strong. Well, let's just say you caught me at a bad time. I was right out the red eye from New York. Really? Yeah. Well, let me guess. You're an actress. No. But my clients are buying a movie studio. I'm an investment banker. Ah. Well, since they're buying a movie studio, how about letting me buy you dinner? Oh. Well, that would be really nice, but I'm supposed to go to some sort of screening tonight. Well, that's okay. I'm talking about right now. Right now? Yeah. It's 9 o'clock in the morning. Hey, watch out. All right, everybody, get out your money and jewelry. Well, I just got off work. Well, what kind of work do you do? Well, you see, I'm a... Hey, partner! What, what? Look, what's your name? Monica. Nick, look, why don't you wait right here? This long as you can minute, I'll be right back.
That bus is being robbed. I need your hat. Give me your cane. Give me these glasses. I need your coat. You all come back for. Go all the way to the mission? Yeah, get on. Give me your money. All your money. What, did the fare go up? Yeah, you could say that. Coffee, tropical fruit salad, some smoked salmon. Oh, great. <gasps> Ripe camembert, fresh Italian bread, voila, and French champagne. <laughs> An international feast. That's L.A. To someone to share it with. Thank you. So, um, you're a cop, huh? Mm -hmm. Well, I hope you do more than just chase buses. <laughs> <laughs> I do. But right now, that seems very far away. And let's keep it that way. Very receptive. <laughs> bus this morning. The Boulevard Flasher and the bus bandits. You guys have been putting in some long days. I appreciate it. You mean long nights? By the way, how'd you sleep? Not good, Nick. How about you? I don't want to hear it. Huh. After Monday, maybe I can shake you guys loose for some R&R. How about oh, that'd be nice. Maybe then I can get my rhythms unwhacked. Yeah. Say what? Your circadian rhythms, Captain. Grado's all out of phase. Oh, sorry to hear that. How do you think I feel? Thirty-six more hours, Rada. Harvey will testify, and it'll all be over. Hey, guys. How's it going? Hey, guys. Hanging in there. What brings you down here at this hour? You think you're the only public servants that have to work late? <laughs> That's life in the fast lane, kind of. Uh, tell me about it. Hey, listen. Can I see Harvey? I need to go over his testimony before he takes a stand. No can do, Con. If it'll put a cap on this one. Tell you what we can do, though. Get them to you first thing Monday morning. Well, I guess that'll have to do. See you. Hey, either you guys have a light. Keep them. Ah, thanks. from my mother? Relax, Harvey. We're keeping her informed. You just do what we say, and you'll have nothing to worry about.
star man, Captain. Same one who took a shot at Harvey outside the courthouse yesterday. Only this time he didn't miss. Harvey's dead, Nick. Take him. I'm sorry, Nick. work, guys. Just like the plan. I'll tell you, that idea using the mannequin as my silhouette was great. Where did you guys get the inspiration for this? The Late Late Show? Don't answer that. Well, hopefully this is going to take the heat off of you once and for all. Right. Oh, how'd you figure out who it was that was helping Kane track me down? Well, let's just say there was an assistant U.S. attorney who showed a little bit too much concern for your whereabouts. And the rest was easy. Connie's probably with Kane right now telling him he has nothing to worry about. I can't wait to see their faces when he walks into court on Monday. <laughs> uh, especially when we bust him. Well, where am I going to stay till then? Someplace safe. Rado's apartment. Maybe now I can catch up on some sleep. Uh, to each his own partner. I have a date. Uh, wait a minute. What about Ma? Oh, she's already been clued in. She's waiting for us at my place. It's not much, but it's home. You're going to love it. Harvey. Ma! <laughs> Jack seems to agree with you, Harvey. Oh, I straightened up a little. I hope you don't mind. Are you kidding? It's great. There are parts of this floor I haven't seen in years. Where is everything? You never heard of closets? Isn't she something? She's something else. Now, let's eat. I have a brisket in the oven. Mm. Mama! Hey, girl, ain't no mystery. At least, far as I can see, I want to keep you here. I am so glad I let you talk me into coming home with you last night. So when are you going back to New York? Why, are you trying to get rid of me already? No, uh, I'm trying to talk you to stay. Oh, yeah? Oh, I'm listening. Mm -hmm. Mr. McCarran, you do have a way with words. <laughs> Surgery. You want me to be safe, don't you, Mom? Hey, I also want to recognize my only son. They're talking about a couple of things. Maybe the hair, just the nose, a oh, little... don't you dare touch that nose. That nose has been in our family for generations. Your father, your father, Vic, father, I hate to interrupt, but you got to help me out. What's the problem, Rado? i got a 415 going in my own house, a family dispute. And then they want to change your name to my dead body. Good enough for your father. That good enough for has you. been going on ever since you left. I haven't gotten a wink of sleep. Sorry. Not this time, Raina. Oh, Nick, come on. I'm desperate. Please, you've got to bail me out. All right. All right. You look out for Harvey, and I'll come over there and deal with his mother. Oh, thanks, Nick. Thanks a lot. Duty calls. Bad timing. Why don't you stick around and I'll make it up to you? Promise? <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. Now, Harvey, 
I want you to take these envelopes. I put my address on them, stamps, everything. If you can take a few minutes from your busy schedule as a hermit to scratch me a few lines, you'll make me the happiest woman in Miami. Give it a rest, Ma. A mother can never rest, Toby. I'm beginning to think I'll never rest. Morning, folks. It is one beautiful day today. Officer McCarran, boy, am I glad to see you. Oh, you could say that again. Nick, I have a bone to pick with you. You do? Harvey's nose stays... Is that brisket I smell? Yeah. You want some? It's not too much trouble. Man. Trouble? <laughs> no trouble at all. What do you mean he's alive? My man saw him leaving our body bag. Your man saw exactly what they wanted him to see. So lucky for you, you hired me as backup. Handle it. No problem. The cop doesn't suspect a thing. Great meal, Blanche. Oh, yeah, you want some more? <laughs> Blanche, I couldn't eat another bite. Would you get her out of here so I can get some sleep, please? You know, Blanche, uh, since we are in Venice, I should take you for a tour of the boardwalk, you know. The boardwalk? Oh, yeah. There's nothing else like it in all of California. In the world. Try the universe. I don't know. What? Oh, come on, Blanche. For me. You know, it's not often that I get to take, uh... Beautiful woman to the beach. All right. For you, Nick. Ha <laughs> ha. Um, hey, am I dressed all right? Perfect. Yeah. Shall we? Okay. <laughs> huh. Nikki. Hey, maybe next time we could rent some roller skates. Roller skates? Uh -huh. Next time we rent a pickup truck. Look at all this stuff. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I'm fine. Harvey! Oh, where's my son? Mrs. Minnick, we believe that he's escaped unharmed. You mean you don't know whether he's dead or alive? We'll find him. I 
help you. No, Mrs. Minnick, the most help you can be is to go back to your brothers. You'll Oof. be safe there. Lee, these officers will take you. Do what he says, Blanche. We'll call you as soon as we find out anything. Come on, I'll help you downstairs. Oh. <gasps> now, what happened? They hit her, Nick. It was Monica. She must have followed you here. beautiful woman. It could have happened to anyone. It didn't happen to anyone. It happened to me and it almost got you and Harvey killed. All right, look, we've been burned. And burned bad. What are we going to do? Sit here and feel sorry for ourselves? We're going to go back out there and make it right. Ready when you are. the whole area. No sign of Harvey or the woman. All right, thanks, Pat. Thanks. Oh, Nick, he was so scared. He's probably trying to get as far away from here as he can. Without saying goodbye to his mother? We already take the morning paper. Nice try. Ma? Huh? Hello, Harvey. Who is this? That's not important. All you need to know is that I have your mother. And unless you turn yourself over to me, I'll kill her. Look, I'll do whatever you say. Just don't hurt her. That's a good boy, Harvey. Now, we'll meet you at Grand Central Market in a half hour. And, Harvey, if you try anything... I won't, no. You have my word. I know you won't, Harvey. Because if you do, your mother is dead. Captain Biddle, tell him to meet us there.
Okay. You let her go. I'm all yours. Monica! The way you answered every question that prosecutor asked you. He always had a very fine speaking voice. We all know where he gets that, Blanche. <laughs> <laughs> One thing's for sure. If the evidence Harvey gave, Kane will be gone for a long time. Well, at least he'll have Connie to keep him company. Yeah, so, uh, who will keep Harvey company? Oh, Ma, we've been through all that. I know, I know. I'm not going to ruin your going away party with the mother's tears. There'll be plenty of time for that after you're gone forever. I hope you boys are hungry. Oh, look at this. Because uh, <laughs> hey, right. Blanche has outdone herself. Oh, it's nothing. It's a little pot roast, <laughs> some uh, data pancakes and apple strudel. <laughs> nothing? My Blanche, you are an artist. And don't you dare leave without giving me the recipes. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, tell me the truth, Captain. Will I ever see my son again? Well, now, Blanche, we've been talking to the witness protection people. And? And they say you can see your son again under one condition. Name it. I'll do anything. Go with him. Oh. Give up your life in Miami. And assume a new identity right along with him. So what's in the name? I mean, you'll do it. <laughs> What's up, Julie? What's the matter with you? You think I'd let you go God knows where all by yourself? I don't know. You said that you didn't want to. No, but that was just you changing. This is us. Oh, Ma, I didn't know there'd be any way to... Are you talking with your mouth full? No. What are